We are in a field or industry that is constantly evolving as science and technology advances. The College of Nursing produces nurses that are going to be leaders and advocates for patients. Well, the faculty, they have been phenomenal. They are truly here to see us succeed. They often say, you'll be an EVP leader when, wherever you go, and they really strive to make that a reality. And as faculty, we have the ability to really influence what our future healthcare providers are going to look like. We can bring our different experiences to the table and also have the ability to really help them to understand that what the world is going to need in the future is very different than what it has needed in the past. I am working closely with students, not only in the classroom setting, but as well as in the hospital setting. And so as a faculty member, I try to get our students to really embody um, the kind of nurse that they would want their family member to be cared for by, in addition to keeping in mind their own, their own health and wellness. I've discovered that I'm able to work effectively under pressure, easily adapt to a new environment, and think critically when placed in an unforeseen circumstance. My experience as an online learner has been actually life-changing, and I have learned that I can do this. I can be a nurse, I can be a leader in evidence-based practice, and I can help transform lives. We dream. We dream the future. We educate. We educate the future. At the College of Nursing, uh, research really turns dreams into reality for the first time in many cases. And together, I feel like we do what others might call impossible and always inspired by our patients to never give up. Our College of Nursing is so tremendously innovative and we are transforming health and the future of health by our inspirational spirit. Our approach to democratizing innovation is unlike anything you'll see at another university or health system. And the reason that we do this is that we know the evidence shows us that the people who need to be leading innovation are those at the front lines. I believe that we have to do work that is across the lifespan in order for us to be able to come up with the solutions to many of the healthcare crises and problems that we see. We have diversity of ideas, diversity of thought, and we have diversity of scientists that are looking at the work. I really feel like empathy and compassion drives all of us. So nurses listen, nurses care, and nurses come together to usher in change when change is due. When you pursue your dreams, dreams that are stemming directly from the stories and lives of your patients, quitting is really not an option. Uh, it's about human life, and that is always worth fighting for. Our College of Nursing is a leader in almost everything that we do, from evidence-based practice to academics, and now innovation and wellness. So having a new center like this, or having a new space for innovation, sets us above almost every other College of Nursing in the world, where we will become the leader for, in healthcare innovation. We discover. We discover. We discover the future. Total Health and Wellness has been very innovative in transforming our, our care that we deliver into a team approach as far as including all the health disciplines in not only our patient care, but how we teach our students to provide care to our patients. The good thing about having RNs in primary care is that they can help these patients with the, the tools and the skills that they need in order to manage their health at home. But when we have RNs in these practices working one-on-one -on -one with patients, they do feel more empowered in order to be healthier. With Burns' role and, and our Buckeye Wellness team and, and how much effort we put into changing this culture, we've shifted the paradigm from uh, had to to get to where people are now motivated to, um, internally motivated to partake in these wellness programs to see the benefits for their own wellness and well-being. The Fold Institute is all about changing healthcare and bringing healthcare decision-making, patient care decision-making based on evidence into becoming the normal way we make decisions and drive healthcare. It's an underpinning of the healthcare of the future. With our Buckeye Wellness Innovators, we can utilize them to find ways of uh, communicating best for their faculty and staff. We actually were, were doing telehealth prior to, to the pandemic, not merely on the scale, but we, we knew the need was there and that we needed to meet our patients' needs in, in not the traditional brick and mortar way. Telehealth is going to be here forever now, and it, and it needs to be. Nurses are able to help patients actualize their health and realize the strength that they have inside of them 
by partnering with them and by empowering them, educating them, and being a resource for them. I would venture to say that we are doing the best job of creating evidence-based nurses and clinicians as they graduate and as they move into our healthcare spaces, that is, that's what those spaces need. We deliver. We deliver. We deliver. We deliver the future. We are. We are. We are. We are. Transforming, transforming the future of health. excited to welcome you to this landmark event. During this very character building 2020 year, I am thrilled to be here with you today as we break ground on our new addition and renovation of Newton Hall the start of another exciting era for our fantastic College of Nursing. Someone once said to Helen Keller, it must be pathetic not to have any eyesight. She responded, not any more pathetic than to have eyesight, but no vision. Our college's vision is to be the world's leader in thinking and doing the impossible to transform health and improve lives. And we are well on our way to accomplishing it. Our mission, which our students absolutely love, is to dream, discover, and deliver a healthier world. And we are doing that in so many countless ways. The fact that we are breaking ground on our new addition during the year of the COVID-19 pandemic is evidence of our ability to do the impossible. Over 51 years ago, on February 14, 1969, Newton Hall was dedicated as the home of our College of Nursing. Mil Mildred Newton spoke at the groundbreaking event about the meaning of the new building, a home of its own, planned and designed to provide the best possible facilities for teaching and studying nursing will arise from the ground we are breaking today. Mildred's words could not be more true. In the last 50 years, our college has experienced immeasurable growth. Today, we are educating nearly five times the number of students with seven degree programs and 10 certificates. A student body of approximately 2,400 and 330 top-notch faculty and wonderful support staff. Our world-renowned faculty continue to pioneer new research that is enhancing population health and well-being, as well as reducing health disparities across the lifespan, especially for our most vulnerable. Through our two research centers, the Martha S. Pitzer Center for Women, Children, and Youth, and our Center for Healthy Aging, Self-Management, and Complex Care. We are recognized nationally and globally as leaders in evidence-based practice. Our college serves as the home 
of the globally renowned Helene Fold Health Trust National Institute for Evidence-Based Practice in Nursing and Healthcare. We continue to expand our footprint in healthcare innovation in two key ways. Our total health and wellness center is our nurse practitioner-led interprofessional team-based model of care that was recently designated a federally qualified health center. And our recently launched Center for Healthcare Innovation and Wellness. We have made the health and well being of our students, faculty, staff, and alums a top priority because we cannot take great care of others unless we take good self care. Our students and fabulous alums continue to transform health and make a positive impact across our community, our state, and the world. We differentiate ourselves by teaching our students how to live well, that is lead, innovate, vision, execute, to be wellness-focused, evidence-based, lifelong learners, and lights for the world, making an impact, paying forward, as Buckeyes do, locally to globally. This new building will emulate our Live Well framework and provide us with the needed infrastructure to propel our college to even greater heights to achieve our vision and make an even larger positive impact on transforming health and improving lives for all. Even before the COVID-19 pandemic, Nurses and other healthcare clinicians were mission critical to a healthier state, nation, and world. As been evidenced throughout the pandemic, they are selfless heroes, often making personal sacrifices to care for others. Let's not forget to express our gratitude to them on a regular basis and also invest in their health and well being so they do not continue to pour from an empty cup. The new addition of Newton Hall will add 40,000 gross square feet to the south side making our building a national and global hub for academic excellence, research, entrepreneurship, evidence-based practice, and wellness-focused innovation that will impact health and well-being for generations to come. There will be so many new exciting spaces that will encourage transdisciplinary collaboration amongst our students, faculty, and staff, and emphasize our community's health and well-being. At the completion of our project, Newton Hall will become the first well-certified building on the Ohio State campus. The well-being standard is a vehicle for buildings and organizations to deliver more thoughtful and intentional spaces that enhance human health and well-being.
As we continue to emphasize the health and well-being of our faculty, staff, and students, our building will serve as a tranquil, peaceful, and welcoming environment for our community. Space truly matters. This new space will allow our students to relax, feel happier, and be more productive. The new space also will encourage collaboration, innovation in research, education, and evidence-based practice, and very importantly, a stimulating learning environment to prepare the next generation of the absolutely best evidence-based nurses and other health professionals who will transform health and improve lives. I want to offer my most sincere thanks to the state of Ohio, university leadership, OSU, FOD, and PEAR, our board of trustees, ICON-5, M&A, and Ruselli. I want to send out a special thanks to our alumni and donors who have believed in our vision and have supported us to achieve it. I also want to acknowledge our college community and the finest faculty, staff, and students and alums in the whole world. Thank you again for supporting us, believing in us as we transform the future of health. We are so fortunate and grateful to have several wonderful partners and advocates join us today to share their thoughts on this historic occasion. First, I'm so proud and pleased to welcome Dr. Christina Johnson, our terrific 16th president of the Ohio State University. She very quickly immersed herself into our awesome Buckeye culture and has been such a strong supporter of wellness and the key role that nurses and other healthcare professionals play in our healthcare system. Then you will hear from Dr. Harold Potts, Executive Vice President and Chancellor for Health Affairs at Ohio State, as well as Chief Executive Officer of Wexner Medical Center. He has been a great colleague, leader, and sounding board as well as a thought partner as we navigate through this very challenging period. He is also really invested in integrating our health sciences colleges into the medical center. Then you will hear from Gary Hemminger, chair of the Ohio State University Board of Trustees. He retired in March as chairman of the board and CEO of Marathon Petroleum Corporation and represents our great trustees who so generously gave us the green light to move forward with our project. Finally, you will hear from Maureen Corcoran, Medicaid Director for the State of Ohio. As you will hear, a nurse 
who runs a department that delivers health care to nearly 3 million children, youth, and adults across Ohio through a broad network. Thank you, Dean Melnick, and thank you for the leadership that has brought us to this groundbreaking today. One positive thing about tough times is that they allow us to see with new eyes. During this pandemic, the sheer heroism of our nurses and other healthcare workers has become wildly apparent to all. If the world needs anything right now, it is more healthcare professionals of the caliber of those educated at The Ohio State College of Nursing, people who combine a powerful impulse to care for others with evidence-based practice and the ability to learn on the fly, even under the most trying conditions. In fact, the World Health Organization has declared 2020 the year of the nurse and midwife. And by breaking ground for an addition to and renovation of Newton Hall, I'd say that we Buckeyes are all calling this year the year of the nurse and midwife. Of course, we had to expand in the last decade. The Ohio State University College of Nursing has more than doubled its number of students and faculty. There is only one explanation for this popular demand, the sheer excellence of the education and research taking place at our College of Nursing. I'm proud to say that Ohio State's online bachelor's degree programs are ranked number one in the nation, thanks in large measure to our online RN to BSN program. U.S. News also ranks our online master's program in nursing and in a number of nurse practitioner specialties, all in the top four or better nationwide. We are number six nationwide for our on-campus master's program and number eight for our doctorate of nursing practice program. Our College of Nursing is also a research powerhouse, ranked among the top 20 nationally in NIH funding and surpassing 13 million in research funding this past year and it is one of the pillars of Ohio State's leadership in the health sciences in general. So we are so pleased that the Newton Hall expansion will serve as the gateway to the evolving health sciences campus at our university. The facility also is helping to break new ground in the field of environmental health as a well-certified building whose features protect and promote the health of the people who use it. I thank everyone who has contributed to this project, our alumni, donors, faculty, staff, students, and volunteers for your commitment to Ohio State. A new Newton Hall will help us to educate inspired healthcare providers who promote a wellness of mind, body, and spirit wherever they go, and to reimagine the entire field of healthcare for a brighter future for all. Thank you again, and congratulations to our remarkable College of Nursing. Thank you, Dean Melnick. It is my privilege to congratulate the Ohio State College of Nursing and thank all of you, our alumni, donors, volunteers, staff, faculty and students for helping us reach this historic moment. Today, we break ground on a new addition and renovation of Newton Hall, a space that will allow us to continue to be a national and global leader in healthcare and a beacon of the tripartite mission of the Ohio State University. Registered nurses represent the largest healthcare workforce in the country, with over 220,000 in the state of Ohio alone. There are nearly 19,000 advanced practice registered nurses in the state. The World Health Organization designated the year 2020 as the International Year of the Nurse and Midwife. That's because nurses play a vital role in our healthcare system. Nurses are the people who devote their lives to caring for mothers and children and giving life-saving immunizations and health advice. Looking after older people and generally meeting everyday essential health needs. Our College of Nursing is top ranked and world renowned and sits at the forefront of educating the future of nursing. Leaders who are prepared to transform health and improve lives. The College of Nursing is integral to our vision of preparing students to become part of interprofessional care teams 
Some examples include our leadership of the biannual Clinician Wellbeing Summit, the Fold National Institute that works with healthcare systems across the world to improve healthcare quality and safety, our interprofessional academic programs like the Interprofessional Healthcare Academic Certificate, Master of Healthcare Innovation, and Master of Clinical Research, and finally, the Innovation Studio, a unique movable space that helps foster interprofessional collaboration to develop healthcare solutions. What we do here matters. What you do here matters. What the future of nursing does here matters. Dean Melnick, you run quite a ship here, and I am enormously appreciative of your leadership and devotion, especially during these incredibly challenging times. I know that you often hear quotes about nurses from the great Florence Nightingale or Clara Barton, but Sandy Cornett, one of your own and a three-time alumna of the college said, quote, there is a uniqueness in nursing that you can't find anywhere else. There's a certain language that we speak as nurses, a certain passion that we have as nurses, a certain understanding about humanity. I could have not said it better, Sandy. And while we can't all be together to shake hands and raise our glasses, I hope you will enjoy our virtual celebration for what is certainly a momentous occasion. The Ohio State College of Nursing is leading the way in preparing the nurses of tomorrow. Be safe, be well, and congratulations. Hello, everyone. My name is Gary Heminger. As chairman of the Ohio State University Board of Trustees, it is an honor and a privilege to join you today in celebrating this momentous occasion. As you all know, the College of Nursing has a vision of becoming a global leader in transforming healthcare and improving lives. My fellow trustees and I believe in this vision wholeheartedly. And we also believe that this new addition to Newton Hall will play a pivotal role in enhancing Ohio State's already stellar reputation as a pioneer in academic medicine. In fact, the importance of academic medicine and the ability to provide a superior education for our future healthcare providers is a belief to which I am personally dedicated. My wife, Jane, is a nurse, and I am so proud of her many years of service from the cardiac care unit to the ICU to the emergency room. This profession has meant so much to her and to our family, so I fully understand how important it is to ensure that new generations of inspired healthcare providers have everything they need to excel. Entering the Wexner Medical Center campus from Neal Avenue, this new wing will be the first thing you see. It will be a physical representation of the unparalleled education, research, and healthcare one can expect from Ohio State. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, I want to say congratulations to everyone involved in this crucial project. I cannot wait to see how this next step in an already wonderful journey unfolds for the College of Nursing. Thank you for your time. Hello, I'm here to congratulate the Ohio State University College of Nursing on the groundbreaking for the renovation of the Newton Hall. Registered nurses are the largest healthcare workforce in the United States, with more than 220,000 nurses across Ohio. That's why in our state capital budget, $7 million was set aside for OSU in order to conduct this or to support the re this renovation of Newton Hall because of the importance that nurses play in our healthcare sector. My name is Maureen Corcoran and I'm the director of the Ohio Department of Medicaid for Governor DeWine and I'm also a nurse so I'm doubly pleased to be able to be with you today even in this uh, rather virtual manner. When I first went to work for the governor, of course, I, I understood some of the responsibilities associated with Medicaid. Uh, we serve 3 million people. We work with more than 150,000 providers and provider organizations across the entire healthcare spectrum, whether durable medical equipment, community um, programs and support services for people in their homes, uh, home health services, hospital services, you name it. Medicaid is involved in it. 
Of course, at that time, we didn't know anything about COVID. And as COVID descended upon our state, I was asked to take on some additional responsibilities or some separate responsibilities in my spare time, as I used to tell my colleagues, um, because of the perspective and the experience that I have as a nurse. And it was really through that experience that I realized um, sometimes um, we're called to things that we didn't necessarily understand or um, even be able to contemplate at the beginning of our journey. The Ohio State University College of Nursing plays a key role in filling the pipeline for nurses in our state and preparing you, preparing them to provide the best evidence-based patient care services and research to advance the care in our state as well as across the United States. This renovation project will allow you to continue your vision to be a world leader in thinking as well as in practice to transform health and to improve lives. And that is something that I have spent my career doing and I'm proud to be in the balcony cheering you on as you go forward from today's great celebration. Over the last decade, Ohio, has, Ohio OSU College of Nursing has experienced significant growth in your program. And that's because of the kind of innovation and leadership that you have with online programs, partnerships with seven community colleges in order to help uh, expedite um, programs for individuals through an associate program and on into a, a more accelerated program. Um, you have noteworthy masters and doctoral as well as nurse practitioner programs and you operate the Ohio State University Total Health and Wellness Center which is a nurse practitioner led model of care as well as being renowned for your research and recognition through NIH and other extramural funding uh, in the last year surpassing 13 million dollars for research. The addition and the renovation of Newton Hall reflects Ohio State University's mission to continue educating future healthcare leaders and transforming health and improving lives uh, with an emphasis on self-care and individual motivation. But it is only a physical space. It is a vessel. It's a vessel to help continue and cultivate the kind of innovation, leadership, learning, and research, as well as being a place to cultivate relationships or kick off your shoes and just relax for a little bit as you're dealing with your uh, various demands of your practice. Each of us has a unique calling, whether like my taking this position and having no idea what was in front of me with COVID or the many decisions that I've made along my career. I encourage you as you embark on your own individual and collective journey in nursing to uh, allow yourself to explore and to understand the things that drive your passion, and please know if my experience is anything uh, to be learned from, that there is in fact a unique path, one in which you can make and will make great contributions, even if it is a path that is not known to you at that particular moment. So again, I want to congratulate you. I appreciate the opportunity to have been with you for a few minutes and wish you well in your careers. Several years ago, when I came to Buckeye Nation, I asked our fabulous faculty, staff, and students, and alums, what will we do together in the next five to 10 years if we know we can't not fail? This was one of the dreams which we are seeing come to fruition today. We've accomplished so much, but I'm asking all of us to think about today, what will 
we do in the next five to 10 years if we cannot fail. Let's keep dreaming, discovering, and delivering. Go Buckeyes! Three, two, one, dig! Oh gosh, the new addition um, to me is so exciting. I'm so excited about this new addition project. This addition is so important to our college. The expansion of this building is like putting a body to a soul. First and foremost, to add to our, our student body and, and prepare fantastic nurses for the future. This new project is an additional resource for students to practice their skills before transitioning to a clinical setting. Having this new project offers an extension in nursing education for future nursing students. The transformation of Newton Hall is really a physical manifestation of our college's hope and dreams for the future. So it's a place to come together, a place to support each other, a place to build dreams and also make those dreams a reality. We have great faculty, great staff, we are innovative, we are creative, and we're doing wonderful things in the college. And now, what we look like on the inside is gonna be reflected on what we look like on the outside. For the Fold, it's a, it's a welcome home because we have been um, in a different building because of our growth over the last, I think about, maybe four or five years, so we it's kind of a homecoming for us. And the space that we're gonna have is gonna be much larger than the space we have now for either when we can be together, um, either for being together and having being able to have more people attend our, our programs. With the new addition, there's an increase in research, teaching, learning, and creating. And I know that it's the first well-certified building that we'll have on campus. This means that we're taking into consideration people's well-being when looking at the structure and how we look at the rooms. We're providing space for people to practice mindfulness and resiliency. Uh, we're adding in a huge atrium that allows for natural light and for plants to grow in there so people can engage in that environmental well-being, something that no building here on campus allows for. It is going to allow us to be one of the most advanced organizations within the world. And we have an amazing team of researchers and evidence-based practice experts that are allowing us to push the envelope about what we know in healthcare. And what we do within innovation now is we take what we know and we identify what we don't know, and together we create the future of what healthcare will be. I think this new building demonstrates the growth, it demonstrates the opportunities, and it demonstrates that we are here to stay and are going to continue to provide vast experiences that are unique in our community to our College of Nursing students, faculty, and staff. We can have the opportunity to really harness the strengths of our creativity and of our creative thoughts together, as well as having a building and a space that promotes wellness and thinking and innovation. It's a realization of a dream. Uh, Vern has talked for a very long time about uh, dreaming big. And for me, the realization that we're actually gonna break ground on this new edition um, reinforces that, that dreams are possible and that our ability to expand and do um, even more things for our community and for our university um, is just amazing and I can't wait to see it.